everyone, I went to Shilparamam and this is the time usually when they have like a huge festival because of the uh, Sankranti Pongal festival. So it usually starts in December. I think Shilparamam has been open since the last three months but I went only recently uh, because after the lockdown I was a little scared to go but I've been eyeing few home decor pieces. I've seen them a lot of times in Shilparamam. They have a great collection usually at this time so I uh, ended up going <laughs> of course with all the precautions and it was not super crowded but uh, it was a little bit crowded and uh, also there was a really good collection this time so as you saw in the video earlier uh, there's beautiful home decor pieces mirrors and, uh, and ceramic wear which is always there and of course the clothing stalls jutis and saris and so much more uh, a lot of accessories and everything there's a lot of uh, stalls at this time uh, usually so there's a lot of options to choose from like Abhanarasi Dupatas or even uh, Upada Saris and like so many different types of Saris and uh, Kurtas and uh, Kanta work Dupatas and all those thread work Dupatas, hand work, uh, hand woven stuff and Kashmiri stalls. So all the cultural stuff is there and there's cultural events going on also and there's a lot of yummy food too. Of course take all the precautions if you're going and now let's begin and I'll show you guys what I got. Today most of my haul is going to be home decor pieces i just got two pieces from fashion section so these are the jutis which i got uh, they are plain orange jutis uh, the color is showing up a little lighter but they are a little bright um, a little darker basically and uh, they are like super comfortable and i thought it adds a pop of color i could be wearing like a plain kurta and i could add these and it would give a really nice look so this stall i think i did note the stall number i'll try to put the video here uh, they had really beautiful jutis uh, most of which looked like those designer jutis which you see on Instagram pages or uh, basically Nike fashion or one of those wedding sites with beautiful jutis. So they had a lot of beautiful designs. A lot of stalls have really nice jutis but uh, the quality can you can tell that the quality is a little different and the street shop the stall actually had really good quality ones of course you can still tell uh, because uh, they're Indian wear and all that but still the quality is really good uh, the sole and the work and everything is done uh, really nicely and the ones with embroidery especially are very very beautiful so i got these jutis for 400 rupees uh, he quoted around 650 or so and i asked for 300 and uh, yeah finally ended up paying 400 i think that's a decent price but i would have definitely uh, loved it if i would have got them at 300 and again one more stall particularly had really beautiful accessories so i would definitely recommend you check out this accessory stall so i got this neck piece it's in turquoise and i felt like it looked uh, a little vintage with almost uh, faded off heart at the center which is like a drop and i thought the neck piece looked really different so i picked this up i got the neck piece for 200 rupees um i think you can bargain down a little bit but because all the stalls were shut for a long time i didn't want to bargain so much and he quoted about 250 or 300 uh, he would easily give it for 150 of course but uh, yeah so i got it for 200 the store right next to this juti stall actually had really beautiful accessories they had those trishul kind of uh, earrings with jumkas and a lot of uh, these accessories uh, which is a little banjaran and afghan style jewelry they had a beautiful collection i however ended up getting something really Fun. These are the only piece of earrings which I got. They are like umbrellas and basically this is what they would look like when worn. I thought they were looking very different. Yeah, I have a lot of accessories especially jumkas and chandbalis and all that. I don't know I did not find anything that appealing but I thought this was <laughs> very different so I ended up getting this. Uh, and I think I paid 100 for this. Usually I would bargain more. Uh, you can see in this haul that I haven't bargained too much because I felt uh, it's not necessary. Because all the stalls were closed for a couple of months during the lockdown, I thought, uh, you know, I should bargain too much since we always pay full price in the stores. And yeah. So I didn't check out any of the export rejected stores this time because I was mainly focused on home decor pieces. Uh, yeah, I was looking for like wall decor pieces and all that. So that was it for accessories and uh, jutis. Now moving on to home decor. This one has to be my favorite piece. Uh, so I got this mirror. 
uh, from one of the home decor uh, stores so you can see almost uh, 10 stalls bunched up together uh, this is again next to the juti so as soon as you enter you see three diversions three four diversions one of the lane uh, directly leads to the home decor uh, section where there are about 10 stalls which have home decor pieces and all of them mostly have similar pieces I ended up getting just this mirror uh, so it does have a little bit of faded uh, brown look and it's not a very big mirror but um, I really like the work here and all that so this is how it stands and you can use it as a wall decor piece that's the reason I got it and I really liked it so it just comes with this you can just hook it up and uh, I might spray paint this I'm not really sure and I have been seeing a lot of pieces like this on Tijori and some other home decor stores and I've been seeing them even at Shirt City Mall um, at a store called I don't remember the store <laughs> there's a lot of stores here in Hyderabad also even antique loft has such pieces antique looking pieces uh, which are priced high uh, so I got this piece for 300 rupees which I thought was a pretty good uh, deal because uh, I have been seeing that most of these pieces are sold online for 1500 to 2000 at least uh, of course they don't come in brown polish usually they usually come in one of those uh, light greens or mint green or uh, even if it is a red or a dark color basically it gives that vintage look uh, with distressed uh, detailing <laughs> so yeah anyway this was one of the pieces and i absolutely love this do check out the home decor and i really like the big mirrors as well there's good bargaining too i did bargain one for like 1500 or 1000 rupees and finally did not end up getting it maybe i will go back but uh, this is it for now next up we have these uh these are those beautiful lanterns and the work mirror work and everything is so gorgeous of course uh these are pretty common at chitbaramam you would see them every year so i picked up a couple of these um like some for the house here at my parents house some for my house and some other penthouse too so i will do a, a tour soon of a penthouse which we are uh, doing which my brother is doing you guys know my brother does uh, interiors and construction so i will leave his uh, page here you can contact him if you're looking to get your interiors done or your house remodeled or if you're looking for anything related to construction and interiors so yeah so he's doing a penthouse uh, which uh, has like a portico and uh, outdoor patio and all that so yeah I, i'm very excited about that house uh, so i will show you guys that one uh, soon but yeah some of the decor pieces are for that place next up i got these really big balls i loved this color uh, this yellow and indigo they had a lot of pieces of course in plain indigo and different colors and shapes and sizes and prints and all that so i really like these so i got this for 100 each i think and uh, i did ask for like 150 each but yeah, it was a little too much but ended up paying 100 for each of these and these can be used of course as coffee mugs but i got them for like soup <laughs> they're a little too big uh, you can never have uh, too much coffee but <laughs> yeah so i think these are for soups and i really like the colors these are the last two pieces i picked up something in similar color palette again uh, yellow and blue and i think i got these for 90 rupees uh, both of them together and i picked up these for like um, sauces dips those kind of things but of course you can use it as a katori for your curry or something like that too but yeah i got them for dips so that was it for this time shilparamam haul you guys i do plan to go back uh, this time to check out some clothes and some more pieces for uh, home decor i think weekends and evenings are a little bit crowded because there's a festival right now but uh, maybe um afternoons during weekdays is a little better but of course this week it's going to be the festival so yeah it's going to be a little crowded anyway so make sure that you take all the safety precautions if you're going because it is going to be a little crowded and there's going to be people around so yeah make sure that you take all the precautions wear your mask take a sanitizer and yeah be careful so that was it for today's haul you guys i hope you enjoyed this haul it's been so long since i did a shilparamam haul and it used to be one of my favorite places to shop from so during the lockdown so first when I was just uh, looking for home decor for my new house uh, that is what I was uh, <laughs> a little you know I was feeling bad about because Shilparama is one of the first places I would have gone otherwise that is it for today's video guys and today's background is different because uh, this is my <laughs> uh, parents house the home theater I don't think you've seen this before 
maybe i don't know because i have never done a home tour of this house uh, but yeah i think i'll probably do that uh, soon as well so lamp courtesy my sister in law posters of entourage game of thrones etc my brother <laughs> so yeah let me know which one's your favorite and if you've been to shilpalama and if you have any suggestions as to what else i should check out the next time i go back and let me know what other videos you would like to watch and i hope you missed my shilpalama hauls uh, let me know what other street shopping videos you would like to watch or uh, leave me your ideas on anything else as well i do fashion videos hauls and vlogs and so much more so don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also subscribe to my other channel where i do vlogs and telugu videos and also find me on instagram i do a lot of fashion content there as well and i'll see you guys in the next video bye